Hello everyone. Welcome to our hands-on training exercises. Today, we'll show you how to produce quantitative maps of several physiochemical soil properties from hyperspectral data using the Nmap box. In this exercise, you will learn to generate and validate maps of top soil properties using the Ensel map tool within the Nmap box, applied to a subset of high map airborne imagery over agricultural areas in the Cabo de Gatandijar Natural Park, a semi-arid Mediterranean area in southern Spain. The region is only sparsely populated and offers a range of landscape patterns, from Mediterranean steppe, dunes and salt lines to cliffs. The vegetation cover experienced a decline followed by recovery of climax types like stipa and palmito in the past 50 years. Today, the area is mainly used for agricultural practices, mining, tourist activities, as well as a few built-up areas. The soils developed on volcanic and carbonatic bedrocks and are highly variable in their textural and mineralogical composition. Thus, we can observe an interesting spectral variability. Today, we will derive soil maps focusing on soil properties of interest in the Cabo de Gata area, clay and iron oxides. First, a soil mask will be created. Then you will map the soil properties based on different algorithms and derive different soil maps. Finally, you can analyze and validate the derived soil maps. Let's start by opening QGIS Desktop. Please ensure you are running a current version. In addition, make sure you have an up-to-date Nmap Box plugin installed. Instructions on how to install the Nmap Box can be found in the info box below. Now, launch the Nmap Box by clicking on the Nmap Box icon. Then, take a look at the data that we provided for download. There are several folders through which we will go step by step. First, we open the folder containing the airborne data. Here, you will find a raster image in BSQ format. As the name suggests, this is not satellite but airborne data acquired by the HIMAP instrument over the Cabo de Gata area in southern Spain. Simply drag and drop the BSQ file into the Nmap box. As you can see, it's got 126 bands and 828 by 829 pixels. The spatial resolution is 5 meters. Now, display the scene by right-clicking on the raster layer in the Data Sources window. Selecting Open in New Map, and then one of the display options. The Nmap box offers quite a range of pre-configured visualization options, but you can also define your own preferred combination of bands. I chose the true color option, meaning the image appears in a composition similar to what we would observe with our eyes from an airplane. You may need to improve the contrast of the image by right-clicking on layer properties. Symbology, expanding the min-max drop-down menu and selecting, for example, the mean standard deviation option. And here it is, our beautiful test site in the Cabo de Gata National Park. The scene was captured on a perfectly sunny day. By clicking on the spectrum icon in the menu above and then clicking into the data display, you can automatically open a graph showing the spectrum of the corresponding pixel. Can you identify areas with green vegetation in the image? Look for dark pixels on the right of the image or at the bottom. Go and get an idea of the surface materials and associated spectra in the area. Since I'm familiar with the area, show you two different bare soils. Green vegetation. Dry vegetation. and a water pond. Can you find any other surface cover type? 